Hello everyone, it's Bebop 7 here and welcome back to another episode of Untold Tales Honey Clan. And it's been quite a while since we've actually stepped into this series and I've missed it so much and I'm so excited to be back and I can't wait to start really delving into the story. I want to turn this into a really awesome, really fun, just tale of honeycomb, the peaceful cat. Um, well, not exactly peaceful. Maybe the flower-loving cat. She really likes flowers. We oughta, we oughta get more flowers. But anyway, in the last episode, you guys, we went to Shadow Clan, and we went to Shadow Clan, I believe, and Thunder Clan to go flower gathering. And unfortunately, um, we we brought a new cat that we had invited into our clan with us, Shade Pelt, and she's a very shy, a little more skittish and cautious cat. And we brought her with us. And unfortunately we did get attacked a lot and shade pelt tends to freeze up when when confronted with dangers like that she's not too good with it so she froze up and honeycomb had to drag her out and she ended up getting very hurt so since then honeycomb has been wondering if perhaps she needs to revisit how things are with the clan. Perhaps she needs to think more about why things are so violent and recently she has been hunting more and more alone. She has been like this for for a long time. Well, not too long. She's been hunting more on her own. Um, not doing too well but just kind of taking the time to be at one with her thoughts and to just really focus and learn and she's just trying to think why why is the violence so necessary why do the cats react like that is it really that important we they were just gathering flowers what what's the reason are they that unreasonable and she has just been having a lot of trouble with it and as you can see she's not really paying attention much to hunting she's just kind of stumbling around and if she catches something for her for her clan then that's a bonus but if she doesn't oh well and so recently she's been out pretty much all day every day just stopping by um, to drop off more food and to go to bed and say goodnight thorn kit's getting really worried about her and shade pelt is still a little traumatized over the incident and uh, Duststripe doesn't know what to think. Duststripe is worried for her too. And Honeycomb just needs to, she needs to find a reason for why the clans are the way that they are right now. Because she doesn't understand it. And hopefully she will soon, but what's going through her mind is just, why? What's the, oh, I, oh, oh Honeycomb. You're so distracted. Aww. But she just doesn't understand. What's the point of it? Why would you fight like that? Why would you do all that? There's no reason or rhyme to constantly be attacking fellow cats, but they do. And yesterday, um, well not yesterday, last time she went with um, Shade Pelt, she started wondering if perhaps there was a reason, if perhaps them being so aggressive was warranted. And she couldn't quite get her mind wrapped around it. I mean, she's starting to open up a bit more, she's starting to try and understand, but she's just lost in her thoughts, trying to figure out if who's right, who's wrong. and. She wonders if it's maybe it's the borders. Maybe the borders are alienating cats, um, making the clans more aggressive towards anyone who's not in them. And I don't know. I don't know. She just doesn't know. So I think she's going to head back soon. She's going to go to bed, and then she's going to go out hunting again because she just can't understand it. And she just can't wrap her mind around it. So we'll have to see how this really affects her view on violence in the clans. Because I don't know if she'll be able to keep the same opinion with everything that's been happening. 
so we'll have to see. But at the very least, she can come over here and she can take a drink before bed. And she can continue to muse, go around to everyone, say goodnight, say goodnight, and say goodnight to Leaf Shade and Dust Stripe, and then drop off all the prey that she's gathered. At the very least, that's one good thing about her being so kind of in her head right now. When she's really trying to think something out, she goes hunting. She goes out into nature and really tries to experience it. And recently, I think that's been helping her. Helping her get over it, but whoa! Did we just get a new cat? Okay. Okay. Looks like there's a new cat. Hello! Hawk, huh? Hello! What the heck? <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, oh. Is there food over here? Did someone get me food and put it over here? Um, we're gonna rename this rogue. Right now it's Hawk. I'm gonna, hmm. What about Hawk Cry? Hawk Cry, Hawk Scree? Ooh, I kinda like Hawk Scree. I don't know if that works, but we're gonna name him Hawk Scree. So Hawkscree is a brand new member of our clan, which means somebody brought us food. Now I can't tell where it is. Um, where's the food that was brought over here? Oh, I found it! Alright, we're gonna go ahead and drop this over here. We have had an unexpected guest! Why hello there! I think this is just going to startle Honeycomb even more. Maybe it'll bring her out of her little... Um, her little, uh, funk that she's been in, and I think she's going, I think she's feeling a little excited, but at the same time, looking at another new cat, um, finding shelter somewhere, it, it's brought her back to the clans, and she's just trying to understand, perhaps, why, why is it? Why is it that they're so defensive? Why can't they just accept cats into their homes? And then she tries to, she's trying to figure out the reasons for that. She's trying to just really, well, perhaps it's dangerous to invite cats in their home. Perhaps it's dangerous to allow them near your kits. Perhaps it's dangerous, but she still can't quite understand. Huh. Who knows? But all right, she's going to go on a hunt. And I think she is going to actually leave Hawk Scree alone, and the others will have to introduce him to everybody and welcome him because Honeycomb is still feeling a bit low. She's going to go ahead and she'll share her meals with everyone, and everybody will eat. And let's see, we have another mouse to share, and I think one of these. There we go. So I think she's gonna go and just kind of leave and hunt some more because, I mean, is it really that dangerous to let other cats in? Is that why? Are they afraid of them hurting those that they love? What's the reason? Huh. <sighs> so she's gonna go hunt and figure this out. Huh. <sighs> oh, whoa, hello Leaf Shade. where did you pop out from? Okay, um, wow, Honeycomb did not expect to see Leaf Shade. I think she's just going to start scratching for some moss, like, oh hey, I was just, um, gathering, I was just gathering some more nice soft moss for us to curl up on. Since we have Hawk Scree now, we need a little more, you know? Um, Honeycomb, I'm pretty sure we have enough. Pretty sure we have enough. I don't think you're fully Leaf Shade, Honeycomb. Um, I think Leaf Shade's just gonna watch her for a moment and she's just scratching a tree like, you know what, I'm just out here gathering some more moss. I figure, you know, why not be protective? So, I mean, I've been going out a lot, I know, but, uh, and she's just doing her ramble thing, which is what she always does when she's a little nervous or when she's excited. She's a rambler. And so she's just going on and on about moss and then Leaf Shade just kind of stops her. And he's just gonna, he's just kind of watching her a bit and he just kind of stops her like, um... Honeycomb, are you okay? 
You know what, Leaf Shade? You know what? She's not okay. <sighs> Shade Pelt got seriously hurt because of of what what I did. She got seriously hurt because I wanted to go gather flowers. And the violence. Why? Why are the clans so violent? What's the point of it? Why can't we just share? Why can't I just feel safe to go and gather the dandelions, to go and gather the gosh, the the golden the golden rod and uh, what's the point of it? I just wanted some more fever few and they always they, shade pelt just froze up and we couldn't leave and I just don't understand it. I think after that little outburst Leaf Shade is going to, he's going to take his time responding. He's a bit, he's a little silent. And while he's doing that, I think they're just going to continue gathering some moss. And then, and then hopefully, hopefully, maybe he'll have a solution. Maybe all she needed was to vent her frustration. <sighs> all right. Honeycomb, I don't know if you're gonna get more moss off that tree. Oh, wow, never mind, prove me wrong. But you know what? I think Leaf Shade is ready to tell her his side, his view of things. <sighs> and he's kinda, he seems like he's gonna just sit down over here, so we'll go home in a second and he can tell us what he's thinking. All right, Leaf Shade, what do you wanna tell us? All right. <sighs> Honeycomb, I don't quite have the same... You know, you know the story of how we were kicked out of our clan, right? Honeycomb does. We all do. Well, I don't quite feel the same way that she does about it. I'm not bitter about it, I guess you could say. Because when I think back... I, I mean, I never liked those cats, and I still don't. But when I think back, I can understand their fear. When you have a big clan, with lots of queens, with lots of kits, and warriors and apprentices to take care of, any loss of food or prey is detrimental. And it's... It's... Terrifying to think that because somebody gave some away because somebody didn't do enough or because another cat or a colony or a clan came and hunted in your territory you won't have enough prey to feed those that you care about and that your clan will fall and that you will perish and it's a bit harsh but that's the truth of things I believe that the reason why the clans are so violent is because they're afraid. Fear is a very powerful tool and it's a very damaging one at the same time. When you're afraid you don't think. When you're afraid you just you just do. And sometimes you do bad. So perhaps they are a bit too violent, but that's my view on it. What would you do, Honeycomb, if some cats uh, took prey from the field around our walls? Food that we needed. Perhaps it'll help you forgive them and understand that it's not always easy to be friendly. I think with those words, Honeycomb is ready to rest and just kind of relax. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna let Leaf Shade go. He's gonna come over here and rest. And we're gonna see if we can pop in bed before Ah, oh, it's too late now. I guess she's I guess she's ready to just wander around. But she did get more moss. So why don't we go ahead and drop some moss over here? Those are pretty interesting words that Leaf Shade had to tell us. You know, it is something that you don't really think about. I mean, if you were put in the same position, what would you do? It, she may not like the violence, but if somebody came and just took their prey, 
someone from another con- like, I keep saying colony because cattails, which I will, I will be doing in the future by the way, just side note, but uh, maybe not for a little bit. Um, but it is something that I'm going to start setting up, prepare, and I'm excited for it. But um, just imagine what you would do in that position. If some other clan cats came in and took your food and took your prey, how would you react? I don't think you'd be very happy about it, Honeycomb. And with those thoughts, I think she's definitely starting to understand a bit more. I think she's starting to relate more to perhaps why they are so so dangerous and so fierce to anybody who's not in their clan. And now she's starting to wonder, are there any solutions? But alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, uh, it may be a bit rocky, I need to get back into the groove of trying to do storytelling again. And I'm not sure about like voicing the other characters. I don't know if you guys want me to even try voices. I'm kind of curious about it. I don't know if I do very well. Maybe just like slight little changes. But um, I need to get back in the groove of storytelling. And just really into everything here. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I am, oh gosh, I'm just so happy to be back in Untold Tales and working on the story again. But alright you guys, I want to thank you all for watching. I gotta be bopping on out of here and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!